Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Wednesday, June 27th, 2018, and this is a quick video about Polaris, the Northern Pole Star. This video goes out especially to the Flat Earth believers, who seem to believe that Polaris is right on the North Celestial Pole and doesn't move, which in fact is not the case at all. So you can see I've got the view of the Northern Hemisphere sky. We've got Ursa Major, or the Big Dipper, and Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper, illustrated there and marked out. So what I'm going to do is zoom in, so we've got a better view. You can see I've got the North Celestial Pole marked there as well. Uh, and you've got the tail of uh, Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper, right there. And as we zoom right in, you can see that I've got a yellow circle, which is 30 arc minutes in diameter. Now 30 arc minutes is the approximate diameter or angular diameter of the moon, the full moon. There are 60 arc minutes in one degree, so 30 arc minutes is half of one degree. Now you'll notice that Polaris is not right on the North Celestial Pole, as a lot of flat earthers believe it is. In fact, it is about two-thirds of one degree away from the North Celestial Pole. And we can measure that. So you can see that we're on 39 arc minutes. As I said, there are 60 arc minutes per degree. So at around 40 arc minutes, that is two-thirds of one degree. If we use the yellow circle to represent the size of the full moon, you can see that the full moon would fit between the North Celestial Pole and Polaris with room to spare. That's how much distance there is between the North Celestial Pole and Polaris. Now the other thing is, is that um, throughout the night, Polaris actually rotates around the North Celestial Pole, as we can see here. And so does the Little Dipper. Rotates right round. The same thing happens with the Southern Cross in the Southern Sky. It rotates around the South Celestial Pole. So here we are back to where we started. And the other thing is, is that over a long period of time, Polaris actually drifts. And back at the time when the pyramids were built, some thousands of years ago, the pole star was not Polaris, it was the star Thuban. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to run this backwards. We've got this on June 28th, 2018 at the moment. I've got the time period set for years, and I'm going to run it backwards, and you're going to see what happens to the position of Polaris. You can see that it's actually drifting away. This is back to 1870. By 1870, it had drifted that far away from the North Celestial Pole. So, despite the beliefs of a lot of flat earthers, yes, the stars' positions do change over very long periods of time, but of course our lifespans are relatively short, and these stars are a very long way away, and uh, because of parallax, this is why the apparent movement is so small. Now, if you've ever noticed when you're driving along the highway in your car, that the fence posts and the street lamps and so on seem to go past your window very fast. But the distant trees out in the fields seem to go by slower, even though you're travelling at the same speed. And you look away even further towards the mountains, and the mountains hardly seem to move at all. The distant clouds don't seem to move at all in the sky. Yet those fence posts just outside the window are whizzing by really fast. This is because of parallax, and the same thing applies with the stars. It's because of the distance. Out to the nearest stars, the distance is so very far away that like the mountains in the distance, they hardly seem to move at all. 